Okay, everybody. Since there is a trouble in the internet connection uh, in Myanmar, so uh, the presentation from Myanmar it will be recorded, and then uh, it will be upload in the Cebunet uh, 2.0 website and also uh, via YouTube. Okay, and then the presentation from Myanmar it will be presented by Miss Sandy. And then the title of the presentation it is the comparison between the Indonesian and Myanmar students. Okay, the comparison of lifestyle among the Indonesian and Myanmar students in IISY. Okay, maybe for the presenter, Miss Sandy, the time is yours. Okay, while the presenter is preparing, I hope that for all of the presentation should be collected in the one folder and later uh, inserted to the flash disk and uh, because it will be upload uh, via a module yeah. okay the presenter are you ready okay the time is yours <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Gato, the director of the Missibolet, Jakarta, and all the authorities and participants of and, and Edmodo NC Edunet 2.0, and also the principal and the teachers of Indonesian International School, Yango, and also the teachers from Mengala Downyo, the Asia Street Former. My name is Teacher Nessa Niang. I'm group leader for Social Study Group in ISI. My group members are Teacher Els Retna Gumila, Teacher Tuzamye. Today we are going to present a sample for social study project based learning for our students. We have already chosen the topic that is the comparison of lifestyles among the Indonesian and Myanmar students in IISY. So, for doing this project, we have three main objectives. The first one is to get the clear understanding about the different lifestyles in the world, but we focusing on only on Indonesia and Myanmar. And the next one is to develop an understanding about the causes of conflicts and possible way to solve the problem. The last one is. This is the most important one to develop the 21st century skills. They are the critical thinking, collaboration, and communication skills. For that, we have a great driving question. How do the similarities and differences between Indonesian and Myanmar students create each own unique lifestyle? For that main question, we have several video questions. We need to find out historical background of the two societies, geographical, economical, and cultural background. To find out the answers for these questions, we need to focus the students, I mean, the student needs to focus on uh, socialization process, social dealing process, educational assessing process, economic situation, and possessions. They need to focus on that. So the next one is our scope, the scope of the project for the students. The duration of the project is eight weeks. The intended grade, this is for grade eight students for their social study subject. The outreach, I mean the audiences for them, after the project they will present that project in the presentation style, that's why. They have the class um, as audience, classmates, teachers and parents. Another one is content standard to be taught and assessed. What we are teaching, we have the basic competency and standard competencies. 
The standard competency for the social study subject is understanding about the human society is the first, and they are living more. Well. And then another one is about the human social interaction. For that, the students should have the knowledge of we human beings live in groups, possessing each distinct way of life, and then they have distinct history, the belief system, and cultural tradition. And human practice different rituals and ceremonies, but that human being, they cannot live alone in their own groups. They have to conduct with another, another people in the other groups. And then they have the, they can have the conflict and cultural shocks for that. But human have that ability also to solve the problem and to negotiate the uh, ideas. Yeah. <coughs> So the next one is project idea, summary of the issues, the challenges, investigation, scenario and problem. The first one is, so we need to focus on the lifestyle. What is the lifestyle of human being? The lifestyle is the way of, in which a person lives. So it is always unique for every group, every corner of the world. And then people believe and behave according to their own rules and regulations that is described, prescribed by their own groups. But that two different people, two different groups of people, they have to contest in a long time, like our school, Indonesian International School Yang or ISY. So they won't have some shocks and misunderstanding between them because they don't have similar behaviors, similar thinking, similar ideas. Yeah, that's why. For that, the students should know about one another's culture and lifestyle so as they can avoid conflict and then they can create long-lasting friendship. <laughs> for that project, they need a task. So for that task, the task is to answer the main driving question, how do the similarities and differences between Indonesia and Myanmar students create unique lifestyle? So they need to combine the information all about the each distinct unique group, for example, about Indonesia and about Myanmar, how about their history, historical background, cultural background, social background, something like that. And then starting from the time where present practices to the daily routines, annual ceremonies, everything they have to learn about them. After that, they need to present them in clear and understandable way of writing, which can highlight the prospect of either conflict or agreement, it means differences and similarities. For that, um, they should apply video clips also, pictures, illustrations, to have the attractive, attractive, what is it, presentation. Yeah. The next one is? After they know the tasks, there are the process for the project. So, after getting the agreement and sound understanding for the whole concept, so the group with leader should divide the task to their, uh, to his or her team members. So this type of project is a kind of uh, qualitative and also quantitative research method. So, but especially they need to use the qualitative one because all of the concepts are abstract. So they need to use in participant observation method so they can understand and uh, get well knowledge about the student feelings and behaviors and practices and also they have they, may, they might have an in-depth interview so they can ask to the other students about their how do they feel while they are feeling with other people from different cultures how are their uh, obstacles to treat with them how about their uh, uh, what is it? Social uh, social dealing problems by treating them, something like that. So this is they need that in depth interview. And also the, another method is focus group discussion. So after they compile all the data, and then they need to find out that confirmation of the data is very important. And then by collaboration. They use that focus group discussion for the confirmation of their own teacher. Yeah. The next one is?
After all that, each of the findings are gathered, analyzed, and composed, and put into the end of the specific classified topic. And then they can write up the presentation or writing. Yeah. After this, yeah, they, they will present in the at Google network. So in there, not only the students from social study background, but also from the, the students who can uh, who are very expert in computer studies and also uh, very expert in art also, they have to combine together there. Okay? So for the resources for the project. So actually they they have to do based on their own textbook, textbook, and also another literatures from the, the other websites. From Edmodo also, they can use it. Another one is library. Library is an essential one. But the main one, uh, the more important one, major one is of the resources is human. So we social studies subjects are the humans. So they are friends, the student friends. They are Indonesian, Myanmar students, and I as one. Yeah. So we have a timeline, all together eight weeks. For the first week, we have to introduce the project and now the second week, we have to do the literature review and also we have to create the conceptual thinking and literature reviews from website. On the week three, we can start doing the division of labor by the leader. After we know uh, their data and then they can start compiling the data by individual researcher and pairs. Yeah. On the week five, data, data, all the data are analyzed by collaboration. So not only one by one, we need confirmation also. So from all of the group members. And then on week six, we start writing presentation. All the articles. Okay. The last uh, week seven is the final draft. We prepare the final draft. And then the last week is the world vision for final presentation. So now, after that, they present. So after their presentation, at, yeah, of course they have that score by grading system. The grading will be A, B, C, and D. Ex excellent, good, average, and weak. Will be given for each the following Friday year. Yeah, they are. Next slide. Another slide. Rubric for grading. So this one is for consistency, consistency and information. For consistency is a topic and the content are consistent or not. All the data, most of the data, some of the data, only a little of the data are consistent or not. Depends on that and then they will get A or B or C or D score. And information also totally complete, ample information, less information, least information. And the next one is authenticity. It's totally new ideas are seen in the findings and discussion or some new ideas. And the other one, the C grade, is and all ideas are recreated. But this is only old ideas. They use only old ideas, not a new one. And the last one is no more new ideas at all. Okay? The next one is unity. So this is very important in, in a team, teamwork. So team are organized well, equal responsibility and loads. Organized in good way about loads and responsibility are not equal, but not well organized, and only one or two members let the team all out of balance in organization. So only one person will lead the team. Okay, the next one is presentation style. Also this is very important because this is a kind of social interaction also. It is a kind of practicing the students. So in the presentation style, well presented, full eye contact. So the students should look at to the audience and then completely confident. So, and the first one. And then and the next one is good in presentation, frequent eye contact, not all the time, but frequent. But, and also confident. A bit language difficulty, less eye contact and confident, no eye contact at all. Okay? The next one is visual aids, video clips, PowerPoint, music and illustration. So all the all the presentations are alive and very interesting for the first A grade one. Second one, same usage of computing devices and it normal PowerPoint and no it at all. So that's one. This is my end of my presentation.
for this project-based learning. Jesu Jemare, terima kasih. Okay, that's the interesting presentation from Ms. Sandy. And by the end of the presentation, that's the end of our activity, of workshop of the project we're learning today. And since it is, it is already officially closed, just now. And I think that's all the program uh, now. Thank you very much for your participant and for your coming. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.